Hey guys, Perigi here. In this video, we're going to continue our design system, which uh, we started in the past two videos. So in this video, we're going to focus on the dropdowns now, since uh, we already have uh, the basic input fields and uh, we have uh, the actual first stage of the dropdown, but now we want to add uh, some menu items. So the way that we're gonna do it is uh, we're going to essentially duplicate this right here. So it's going to be outside of the checkbox uh, um, or right side of uh, these input variables so that we're going to create uh, a new set of variable. So this one here, um, let's uh, just uh, duplicate it right here or actually let's detach uh, this instance so that we have a little bit more of uh, freedom over this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate this, uh, remove uh, this uh, element on the right uh, and basically we're going to go ahead and create the different uh, um, drop down elements. Oops. So as we have uh, auto layout here, we're going to need to um, get rid of it. And we're simply going to add this line at the very bottom. And let's go and source this color and Let's go ahead and let's bring this uh, below. Now, probably going to go with uh, a color around these lines. Don't want to make it too light nor too uh, dark. And uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, we are essentially going to some use. I'm going to use a small trick if you wish. So basically, creating another one here, and then. Uh, basically um, using shift and alt, selecting all of it, bringing it down so I can create an instant duplicate, then using command D just a few times in order to basically duplicate this uh, selection. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, of course, I need to get rid of the duplicates here. Or actually, this last one I'm gonna keep for a moment. And uh, as you can see, we have the different lines. Let's bring this one right here. I'm going to get rid of this bottom line. All right, so far, so good. I'm also going to rename all of these guys to line. And there we go. So I'm going to write over here, option A, option B, C, and D. E and F. Right, so far so good. Now we could probably also make these ones uh, um, either lighter or let's just keep it like this for the time being. Now, when it comes to the drop downs, uh, I'm going to have uh, um, basically a few drop downs that I want here. Um, basically just for the prototyping feature. So what I'm gonna do, and actually let's let's just simplify this. Uh, so instead of having uh, all these elements, we're just going to keep uh, three of them since uh, you're gonna see what, <laughs> what I'm uh, up to in just uh, a minute. So this one's going to be dropped down. I probably want to unframe this, oops. All right, and uh, basically what we're gonna do here is uh, um, just uh, change uh, if I can do that, <laughs> right. So what we want to do, and I'm actually wondering if uh, the prototype is going to be the best, but yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and uh, let's create uh, and put uh, all of this uh, inside one single group or actually one single component, which uh, is going to be drop down. And then what we're gonna do next uh, is we're going to turn this into a variable of uh, our variant <laughs> so that we can easily um, have this uh, up. All right, so we have uh, our variants panel right here. I'm going to duplicate this uh, um, just uh, a couple times. 
so that we essentially have uh, the four variants or actually even before doing that let me do one thing I'm going to duplicate this and uh, put this outside or actually let's go ahead and uh, maybe make the, the, the different type of variants first so this one is going to be the default then we're going to have another one right here which uh, is going to essentially give us another uh, tint so something like that good work just remove the drop shadow so this one is going to be the option a selected or on hover then we're going to have uh, one for option b and why is this duplicating <laughs> the thing um basically what we want to do right here and then is to undo this let's use a rectangle let's bring it right here and that will do i'm also going to get rid of this one this is almost like small hack if you wish uh, not a big deal since it's just going to serve us for like a micro interaction so we can i mean we can easily um, get away with this it's not really a biggie all right so far so good and um, now another thing that uh, i want to do is to basically bring this drop down over here so we have it uh, inside inside our drop down specific variants and uh, as you may already um, understand <laughs> these are the different states hover states and uh, on click so the way that this is going to work in figma is uh, we need to um, basically create uh, different frames out of this uh, and um, assign them to the prototype so how this is going to work is we're basically going to bring uh, maybe let's just round up these numbers 178 yeah just this one so it's nice and rounded and uh, what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're going to have a frame which is uh, 178 width <clears throat> and uh, under the assets panel we're going to select this drop down i'm gonna bring it here let's center it let's bring it on the top and we have uh, our very first uh, um our very first element now the frame of this first one is going to be bigger and you're gonna see why in just a moment so let's just bring it over here let's create this frame in a bigger uh, with some some more width and there we go let's center it and we're pretty much good to go all right so far so good now the very next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're going to create uh, different frames uh, for the different uh, drop downs so how about we do that right now so this first one we're going to have uh, um, to adjust uh, the different uh, properties so let's go over here and let's uh, take one step back we're going to have uh, instead of state uh, um, yeah let's just keep state default and for the other ones we're going to say opened and uh, hover first or actually 
hover second and uh, hover third. All right, so far so good in this front. And uh, basically what we want uh, right here is uh, the opened. So let's go ahead, uh, I'm going to rename this frame to opened. And uh, we're going to duplicate this uh, just a few more times. Let's select it. Hover first. Hover second. And hover third. All right. So far, so good. So. What we need to do now in prototype mode is we essentially have to say to Figma, hey, whenever a user clicks on this, it's going to be redirected to the open state. And uh, on click, as you can see, and instead of navigate to, we're going to open an overlay, which uh, is essentially going to be set as manual. So, this is going to make it uh, way easier to um, to set. And then when a user is going on top of option A, he has to see this. So actually let's rename this before. Oops. Variants. Okay. So right at this point, let's uh, go on and uh, basically what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're gonna say to figma hey whenever we are here um let's uh, and this is while hovering let's uh, swap the or actually open the overlay and basically use this one right here so right let's bring it right on the top has to match perfectly and there we go so let's give it a shot and let's uh, open the prototype just to see if everything is lining up and uh, as you can see here we go first one oh the color is almost exactly the same as the background that's an easy fix we can simply just make this a little bit darker and here we go all right so this is going to be the first one then uh, while we're here let's say that uh, while we're here we're going to have this and hover open overlay manual And uh, the same is going to apply also for this one right here. So while hovering, open overlay, and manual here too. All right, so going to name this to second, this one to third. Now, you might have noticed that I did this right next to the drop downs, but we can easily just copy all of this, create a new page, rename it to maybe like prototype or something, and uh, we can easily have uh, and, and keep uh, the UI components uh, all nice and tidy. All right, let's open up the prototype again. And uh, for some reason, this one is not working anymore. Um, so because, okay, this one is, uh, this one is working, but uh, it's not really, um, I think you can do a better job when it comes to this prototype uh, here in particular. And by the way, for whatever reason, yeah, the prototype uh, <laughs> didn't uh, uh, continue. So let's just ha let's just do something easier. Um, I'm going to rename this to prototype. 
this one's going to be UI components and check this out since uh, we're copying uh, the prototype uh, um, on uh, another page is going to break the prototype you can easily just copy in the rest since uh, it's pretty much independent so just going to copy all of these elements to the UI components panel and there we go since the assets are, are going to basically be maintained the same so here we go one two and the third one so for whatever reason is breaking um, and uh, I have a funny feeling that it's because uh, we're saying here this is happening on hover and uh, also when you're not hovering you're going to be redirected to the previous one which is not connected so if I just say while well, hovering open overlay manual we can easily solve this one two three so yeah we can we're going to refine this uh, later on just wanted to show you like a quick way of how to using like variants to create a quick prototype but the bulk of uh, this video series is around the ui components design system so i think we're just going to focus on that uh, moving forward since this is an extra i really want to build this up uh, so it becomes a solid and uh, um, large library which uh, you can all leverage because i'm going to leave this uh, as a freebie for you guys so yeah uh, stay tuned and uh, we're going to continue in the next video